My day was great in the Bronx. What? Listen, I, I want to spend more time in the Bronx. Uh, the people were warm. They were friendly. Uh, the, the educators and support staff I met in the schools are passionate about kids. The kids were amazing. New Schools Chancellor Richard Carranza kicked off a day-long tour of several schools in the Bronx beginning early at Concourse Village Elementary School and ending right here for a varsity baseball game featuring Monroe and George Washington High Schools, two of New York City's best in the sport. How much better could my day get? Students, parents and educators came to personally greet Carranza, who hails from Houston, Texas, to talk education and about the teams that regularly produce Major League Baseball players, including most recently Jason Pineda, who last year was drafted into the San Diego Padres. He was a terrific young man who really succeeded and he was very good academically. He did very well, as did Wesley Rodriguez, who was drafted uh, in 2005 by the Arizona Diamondbacks at George Washington High School. Moved by the involvement of parents and parent advocates, he shared the positive impact this brings to a child's development. I am a strong believer in communities and communities as owners of their schools. And I saw so much dedication today that just makes me very, very excited about being in New York. New York. New York rocks, but the Bronx rocks. Principal of World Culture is one of the four schools on the Monroe campus. Ramon Namnon was pleased with the chancellor's visit and his acknowledgement of what they provide. I like the idea that his focus is an opportunity for the student. So given the opportunity, whether you're a student in disability, English language learner, or general education student, he believes we should give the opportunity. Playing baseball is just an opportunity for them. While these teams are the best citywide, the principal shared that academic excellence comes first and foremost. He wants them to win at this game and at the game of life. For Bronxnet, this is Arlene Makoko.